God damn, shut that fucking horn up out there. As they keep it going. Welcome back to Genius Drug Labs. That's right, you heard it. Genius Drug Labs. We make all the illegal shit that you can use to get high. Heroin, cocaine, methamphetamines, crack. I mean, we got weed too if you're a pussy, but if you really want to get fucked up, come hit us up. We, we gonna be in this dusty ass garage, so... You know what? Who's honking? Why are we honking? Let's say everybody get the fuck on the road. Act like we got some goddamn sense. Give you niggas something to honk about then. Look at that. Now niggas got something to fucking honk about. Now it's a real accident out here. You stupid ass niggas don't want to drive around the motherfucking ice cream truck. I got me fucked up out here. Messing up my intro, nigga. You know I got ADHD. I can't fucking focus. I hear this stupid ass horn in the background. And I wish a nigga would come say something. As you can see, the fit has changed. <clears throat> I got, I got the rest of those side missions done, all of them except for this one, and that's because for that side mission, you need. Oh, we have research points too. For that side mission, to be able to beat it, you need this upgrade, and I didn't want to get the upgrade unless I got it with y'all, because I'm a family man. Even though I just was swearing like a sailor, but that's also because of y'all. I want I want the best experience possible for you guys. Huh? Everything is for y'all. Basically what I'm saying is you made me do this. Um Alright, what else could we get? I'm low-key feeling like we should probably just say those, but Um well we I need we need the communication disruption. Alright, so yeah, fuck it, let's get that. But for real, welcome back y'all. As you can see, new fit. You obviously just seen we got skill points. Told you we did the challenges, so now we're back to now we're doing more missions. So let's go get it cracking. Hope y'all day was well. Mine, I mean, Yo, wrench. I'll Yo, talk about man. it after this. Damn, man, I hope you kept the receipts. Hey, yo, check out this fuck stick. So tell us about Home 2.0. <laughs> Home systems are completely bulletproof. Your privacy is absolutely secure. Bold claim, Steven. Aren't you worried hacker groups will see that as a challenge? Well, say what you mean, truly. Dead sec. Now, if they want to go up against us, I invite them to try. <laughs> Home 2.0 is an OS with teeth. No. <laughs> he called us out by name? Yep. He don't know who he fucking with. It's on now. That's why I've been trying to crack 2.0. There's just one see little problem. What? Here. Hold this. Stand back. Great. Chip. It's a little hard to get out. Look, there's no point in trying to use the previous version's hardware to jack the new OS. Why? Because they changed the ports. Following the capitalist guide to forced obsolescence. But luckily, a little birdie told me that 2.0 should be packing a farm fresh zero day. Ooh, now that might just be a shame. Damn right. And that is why you, my friend, are going to hijack me a 2.0 pre-order shipment before some do-gooder white hat tells home how to <clears throat> cock block us. You've got a weird relationship with technology. You know that, right? Fuck the technology shit. Don't ever do that motion to me again. No, I meant it. Don't ever do that motion to me again. Don't ever do that motion to me again. Um, But yeah, my day, I mean, it was, I'd be lying if I, it was alright. I mean, it wasn't the greatest, but, and it's just because it's some bullshit, but it's some bullshit from the person I expected it to be some bullshit from. And 
I don't want to get into too much details, but shit like that is kind of why I really like that DJ Ghost quote about like <clears throat> that about liking your friends more than your family, or not necessarily liking, but like he expects more from his friends than he does from his family because family would do you wrong and not give a fuck about your feelings quickly as fuck, and you just have to get over it because your family. Whereas your friends, the people that you're choosing to be around, should take that shit into account into account more, and they normally do because you guys are choosing to spend time together. So. Hanging out with my homie yesterday, and I don't even like calling my friends that, because the niggas I hang around, I consider them like my brothers, like, that's the type of person I am, and if, if I hang around you for long enough, I would like for us to be close enough to consider each other family, now, it's not if I meet you all automatically, we're family, I'm not one of them type of niggas, like, obviously, we go through the stages, you know, acquaintance, friend, yada, 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 but I'm saying that long term, as a, as a person, whenever I meet anybody new, and not anybody new, obviously, because some people, you know, like, sometimes you're just meeting people in passing. But I'm talking about, like, if I ever meet somebody as an acquaintance and we get cool with each other and we have a little bit of banter and rapport and, like, we, we, we get cool, you know, and we're working up to being friends, I would like us to... I'm saying a lot of shit. Like, basically, you get what I'm trying to say. You meet a new friend and you, you build the rapport. I would like to build rapport with all of my friends to where we consider each other like family. I don't want to hang out with nobody okay. that I don't look at as family. I'm at Holmes Distribution Center. Great. Okay, uh, so take a look around for a computer, one of those old crap box ones. Now, home stores their schedules based on number plate destination combinations, like some kind of barely literate moron. Mm -hmm. If that moron was, you know, a company. <laughs> Good they to are. know. I'll see what I can find. But yeah, just talking to my brother yesterday, it kind of, it definitely, like, it made me, like, appreciate him more as a friend. And, because it's like, <clears throat> I don't know, you know? Like, more often than not, I feel like it would be me talking to him about something that he was going through in life. But yesterday, he hit me up and really just wanted to talk about what I was going through. And I had to run into a certain family member today, and uh, they kind of have done what they've always done my entire life, which is just not giving a fuck about how I felt or what I was going through. And you can't expect everybody to, but that's why I'm saying, like, I appreciate my friends a lot more sometimes than family, because family would just expect you to get over it because y'all are family but it's like if we're family then nigga treat me like family like care about how i'm feeling you feel me it makes no sense to where this this person that i met in sixth grade me and him have developed such a bond to where he genuinely cares about how how i think and how i feel and wants to see me do better as a as a as a human being because that's what your friends are supposed to want to do and whereas you feel me? Like, we don't even need to get in that much detail. Because I said I was going to stop getting on here complaining. But yeah, so basically, all I'm trying to say that to say this. Shout out to my brother for making me... For just always being... Having my back. Like, something that I wish more family members would do. This nigga actually always has had my back. Like, it ain't never been nobody above me. And I'm not saying it like that because obviously he has other friends. But I'm saying, like, this nigga has my back to the T. Whereas, this certain family member will put nigga everybody else above me. But then try and make themselves seem like they're the best person in the world when really like you just as selfish as the rest of us if not more where are you and not all the time obviously but where so got it <clears throat> And yeah, that doesn't really apply to all my family. And even with that, even with me saying that about that family member, I do still I love got the them. list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you. Luddites. It's just shitty because, like, I don't want to, like, I, I don't, and not even feel like I love her, but... Uh, well, not said the gender now, but it's like, I love, like, I love you, but it's also kind of like... Like, I shouldn't... I shouldn't feel like I love you, but also I feel like I know that I couldn't go to you for certain things. And I guess maybe that's asking too much of people. Like, I don't want to feel like I can go to you. Like, I'm not saying I'm going to go to you for everything, but I should be able to feel that way. You feel me? But, hey, what the fuck do I know, right? With all of that, um, happy Easter. <laughs> I'm not really much of a, like, holidays type of nigga. Like, especially with these years, like, I feel like... Niggas haven't even really been giving a fuck about, like, Christmas and, like, Thanksgiving. The holidays that a lot of people normally care about. So, I didn't say Happy Easter last video because I didn't really think y'all would give a fuck. But my mama asked me when I woke up. She was like, hey, did you know today was Easter? And I was like, 
And I was like, yeah, but so I, I figured, nigga, my mom said something about it, so I figured I should say something to y'all. Not that she told me, she wasn't like, my mama don't yeah, even know I'll I do hold. these. Again. But yeah, figured I'd tell y'all niggas happy Easter. Oh, Um, All right, what do we gotta go to now? All right, we gotta go break into there. Um, look, if it get hectic, we call in the gang reinforcements, and I will. Oh my God! I told you niggas, shit gets sticky. We calling the we calling the members. This nigga shot me in the face. Why are you a security guard with a motherfucking Uzi? You stupid flat cat bitch. Yeah, like I was saying, happy Easter to y'all niggas. Um, that's it. I don't really have a lot of positive shit to say. So now we're on to some we're on to some different shit. Um, I feel like I told y'all about the BLM niggas pulling up on Charleston White. Um, I got the list. Okay, you don't need to hear this. Um, oh, something that I I did want to talk to you guys about, and I don't even remember if I said this before. I feel like I probably did. Never mind, actually, because I was gonna say the <clears throat> the thing about like I, I be watching serial killer documentaries and people falling downstairs and shit, but I feel like I already brought that up here, so. What are we talking about now? I'm really trying to stop myself from just making jokes about what's going on in the game because I don't like when people do that. Y'all don't need me to describe what's happening in the game for you, you know? Look at you, stupid bitch, should have minded your own business. Why am I not shooting back? You know what it is? Like, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Just on some, just on some like nerd shit. Like when I play games, sometimes I try and make them a little more like realistic, just to add like, a, like a little more of a challenge, I guess. So, like you'll notice, like I don't really use the RC cars a lot in this game unless I have to, and like I don't really try and get into a I lot of shootouts. Great. And what are you waiting for? Smash and grab, my friend. Cause I mean, like obviously there's guns in this game, but like, nigga, you, what the fuck happened? What the fuck? You can't be no hacker dude just getting into shootouts all day, you feel me? Well, you can't be no anything just getting into shootouts all day because y'all will get arrested, but... So yeah, that's why you see me doing the shit that I do. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna talk to y'all niggas about some old shit I wrote down. Damn, I already said that. <laughs> that one too. Fuck. I got the list. Um... Uh, uh, I don't know. Fuck it though. Um, something that I wrote down a while ago, and I, I didn't want to talk about this because I don't even really think it's that funny. But fuck it, I kind of don't really have nothing uh, written down. Which, I swear to God, I try and stay on top of this, because I don't like moments like this, like, and I don't want to just talk about the game, so, but, there's a, um, y'all remember how I said I don't like Charles off BMF? Another nigga from TV that I don't like, and the craziest part about this, about this shit is, and I always say this, these people that I don't like on these shows are probably the greatest people to meet in real life, but, nigga, I don't like Alton off of, uh, Snowfall, that's what I mean, and I called the nigga Charles off BMF, cause I don't like that nigga either, but I don't like Alton off Snowfall. Like, I don't know what it is about light-skinned TV dads when they sons be selling dope, but you niggas are not good people, bro. And I know that that's crazy, cause nigga sons are selling dope, but that nigga, bro, that, what's that nigga name? That nigga Charles told that nigga Meech, I'm not your, you're not my son because you found a gun in the house, but then you want to be all buddy-buddy because he seen you with another bitch in the club. Trying to, uh, nigga, nigga came to Meech record shop trying to play some old songs that they, that they played growing up, talking about some, yeah, you know, Meech was like, yeah, you know, you didn't, you didn't let us listen to, uh, secular music, and whoop de whoop de whoop and nigga, don't try and fucking bond with me now after you try to kick me out the house, nigga. 
Not even try to. After you did kick me out the house and told me I wasn't your kid. I don't like that shit, bro. And I guess it's because, like, I'm, I'm dealing with it in real life. But, nigga, don't treat me like I'm not family. But then talk to me like, like you the greatest person in the world when you need something from me. And fuck Alton, because that nigga, bro, you, nigga, you was homeless. What the fuck? And you gonna tell me because I sold dope. You was fucking homeless. And guess what this dope selling got you? A house. Nigga, your ass was on the street. Looking bad. Nigga, Franklin bailed him out. He talked about some what the fuck I gotta say thank you for. You gotta say thank you because your homeless ass ain't in a motherfucking jail cell, nigga. The fuck? That nigga, bro... I said it best on the Joe Bunn podcast. That nigga, he was he was weird and, and paid in full, and that nigga's a weirdo in Snowfall. Because the nigga um, from paid in full... Intruder! The nigga from paid... Why is this shit taking me so long? This shit should not be the full. The nigga from paid in full, um, who, who shot goddamn Ace, that is the... That's fucking Alton. And you want to know something? Never mind. Actually, I don't. I don't like you speaking about street shit. So we not. We not gonna talk about. Cause I had something that I was gonna say, but I'm probably not qualified to say it. So, cool quarter grand of my lawyer duff. They say lately I've been looking like dollars. Oh my god. Oh. Killing me, ho, need to call paramedics. Cool quarter, my boy, I'm Great. Now, what are you waiting for? Nigga, we the fuck out of here, gang. I done shot it out with, I done shot it out with these niggas. I done killed a couple niggas. I done smashed through the gates. Fuck you talking about? Normally, like this, this mission only took me so long because normally, like I said, I like to play this shit realistically. So when I'm by myself, I swear to God, I wouldn't have done that. I like I would have, I would have stunned them niggas all type of shit. Oh, actually, I kind of do got something that I can speak about. Um, y'all niggas, damn, <laughs> Jesus, y'all niggas seen the, um, that, uh, that clip of, of Rich Homie Quan going off on, uh, um, fucking Roddy Rich, cause I guess Roddy said he wanted him off the song, and see, the thing about it is, right, and I'm not no rapper, so I guess I'm probably not qualified to speak on shit like this, but I just, I just don't, like, I don't know, bro, I don't, and I mean, I guess sometimes I do it cause you probably don't have nowhere else to talk about this shit, but you can't take second and, and I don't I don't do this so that, that never mind I just contradicted myself I was gonna say you can't take your feelings to the internet but you can but you can't take secondhand info to the internet because the nigga said that he heard from somebody that Roddy Rich wanted him off the song so it's like my thing is it's like it was on the DJ drama album and Nigga, it's a DJ drama album. Like, it's his album. It's not Roddy Rich's album. It's a DJ drama album. And I'm not saying that Roddy Rich doesn't have that type of pull to where he can't say, I don't want a nigga on the song. But at the end of the day, nigga, DJ drama is a legend, my nigga. I'm not about to, like, I don't give a fuck who you want and where you don't want on this song. I wanted you on the song, but if you don't want to be on the song, it's not like DJ drama can't curate a good song. And I'm not trying to disrespect either one of them. Roddy Rich is a legend, and so is DJ drama. This is no disrespect to either one of them. I'm just saying, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, Roddy might have, he might have not, he might have not fucked with the verse, but I don't think he said, I don't want this nigga on the song, because it's not his song to make the call. He might have said, I don't want to be on a song with him, but nigga, the nigga who's in charge of create, curating the song is the one that took you off the song. Roddy did not go in and delete the, um, and delete your verse off the song, you feel me? He can do that on his song, like on when Cameron deleted Jay Z's verse on, like, I think it was like, oh boy, or some shit like that. Because that was fucking Cameron's song. This is not a Roddy Rich song. He, nigga, I can't delete your verse. I could tell a nigga, I don't want you on the song, or I don't want to be on a song with you. But at the end of the day, they have to make that decision to get you off of the song. So, because if he did, 
and maybe I'm thinking about this too deep, but if he had something to do with making a song, right, and he wanted Roddy Rich on the song, but Rich Homie Quan is also a good friend of his, and was probably asking him, hey, where's my verse on this song? Would it, would I, do I want to ruin my friendship and tell him, oh yeah, I let the bigger artists, and say, oh yeah, the bigger artists didn't want you on the song, so I chose to take you off? Or do I just say, well, I mean, I guess that is what he said, but... Or no, do I say the bigger, or like, do I say fucking Roddy didn't want you on the song and he deleted the verse, or like, he he was he was like bugging about it, so I we just had to make a call, like I, I but I guess what I'm saying is it's not Roddy's song, so why are you mad at him? He can feel however he wants to feel. At the end of the day, it's the other person's choice to, you feel me, to pull the trigger and, and get you off the song. You get what I'm saying? So. That nigga could that nigga could have been shouting that shit throughout the studio. At the end of the day. One of y'all wasn't gonna be on the song, and they chose it, and they chose for it to be you. And I don't mean that to be no disrespect, cause I'm not trying to, I'm never trying to get on this bitch and clown nobody. But you can't, you can't get mad at him. That's not, you feel me? I don't want to say it ain't his fault, but he ain't do it. Trash. Trash. Stupid ass nigga, you just launched that at my head. Two coffee? No. He's a robot. I want you to get us caffeine. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. You want me to get you two coffee? What the fuck? <laughs> I always thought that that line was fucking stupid. Nigga, you're a hacker. You really think that he asked you to get... you? Like, and I get it. Wrench has a weird relationship with technology. Uh, but, like, come on, bro. Look at us, though. We have one point... You know what I mean? One point one million followers, nigga. For me, I walk in the club. Bitches faint. They like, oh my god, it's the dead sick nigga. He be playing with computers all day. <laughs> Yo, there go hacker boy. <laughs> They point at the nigga, there go hacker boy. Hey, if he grew if he was in the hood, they'd be like, hey, there go hacker cut. That's computer cut. That's just, just, hey, there go nerd cut. It's hacker cut, you feel me? Hacker cut. You know, you know hacker cut, hacker cut. With the computer, he be you know, he be breaking into bank accounts. You no know, hacker cut. Big big head, glasses, he be walking around with the bandana. Before we get off, I'm about to go see if we can get that money back one time, just so I could milk some more time out of this video. Fuck it, trying to get all the ad dollars I possibly know I'm playing. I'm not even getting no motherfucking ads on you. Know what I, you know what I'm kind of worried about, and I don't even want to say worried, but I wonder how it's going to be whenever I do finally reach the day to where I can get monetization. How am I going to do that? Like, I know that there's obviously a way to set it up, and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how am I going to keep them monetized? Because y'all, nigga, y'all hear me now. I curse like a motherfucking sailor now. And the thing about it is, is I don't necessarily care, but I kind of don't care because it's like I kind of can't get it monetized. So it's kind of... Oh! So it's like, there's no point it's no point in caring. And I guess what I'm saying, I could probably just, you know, like, bleep some shit out because that's what I'd be seeing niggas do, but I don't know. I kind of don't want to do that. You know, like I know you should to get to get money, and I guess like I'm not gonna die on this hill that I'm not gonna do it because this is gonna be crazy if I say that I'm not gonna bleep it out, and then years down the line I, I start bleeping out uh, curse words and shit. But I want to try and figure out a way around doing that, or like maybe I'll bleep certain ones, but I don't want to bleep all of them because I feel like that might take away from the content, you know. But I don't know, cause that's the thing about comedic timing. Sometimes a well placed a well placed bleep is a lot funnier than hearing what you would have said. Like if the bleep is well placed enough, I don't even give a fuck what you said behind the bleep. That's the funny part. So, but also bleeps and bleeps over and over again is kind of annoying. Like nigga, what am I listening? To? I'm listening to fucking kids, Bob. What are we doing right now, gang? 
the fuck? I'm listening. What am I listening? To fucking uh, now, now that's what I call music. What the fuck did I? I got this YouTube video, nigga, from the kids building McDonald's. What are we doing right now, gang? Let me hear some. You feel me? Like, what are y'all rashing around this motherfucker? Hook me up. <laughs> I don't know, man. But look, I'm gonna be back at you, niggas, tomorrow, man. Y'all niggas have a good day doing whatever you got to do. Go get some money. Tell the people that you love that you love them. Um, protect your mental health. Keep yourself sane, bro. Cause you can't rely on other people to give a fuck about how you feel and I'm slowly realizing that but it's just like damn bro like word so yeah <laughs> um go watch go watch uh um go watch Mr. and Mr. Smith just cause why not um go listen to <gasps> Go listen to um EA by Lil Yachty. Uh it's an unreleased song, so you gotta look like look it up on YouTube, but go listen to that. Um Yeah man, be back at you niggas same time, same place tomorrow. I'm out this bitch. Bye.